Let's check out the box command under modeling. This will be our first entree into the solid primitives that you see here. A whole list of these right available for quick, uh, commonly used or needed shapes. And you see if you, the tool tips, if you let it sit there for a minute, you'll see an example and sometimes animations that pop up. So let's go with the box command. And I'm going to simply just hit a point on the screen and move the cursor over another point on the screen. You see my dynamics is on, so I'm seeing some numbers in the in the the field there. I'm simply going to click two points and then my third point is is actually giving it height or depth down below and above the the Z0. Here I'm going below and down to the basement. Here I'm coming up above the floor and I'm able to place my cursor like that. Now I'm going to rotate around a little bit. So there's my box. Basically very simple to do, very easy to work with, um, very simple to to create. Let's also just put something in here again, use the box command and this time I'll key in uh, 0 comma 0 comma 0 and that's going to anchor me down at, you guessed it, the origin point. There we are. Now I'm going to key in a value. And I've got some, some numbers in here. Let's see. I'm going to use 20 for this one, for the other diagonal. And then I'm going to lift it up a distance of maybe 12 units. So there I've got another precision placed box rather than just sort of a randomly placed uh, uh, box you see there. But in any event, what I've got is a, is a solid. If I come over and click on it, or just move the cursor over and highlight, you see it's a 3D solid. And I've got it on a layer I've got set up, which by the way, if I come over here on Layer Manager, I see, see I've got a box set up with this color. And I'm just going to move away from that to collapse the Layer Manager. So that's the simple way to create a box. Again, just pick the box, and now we can go into editing later on.